a lot. I was so mad and so upset. Like, really? Over what? Like, I don't think clearly. I don't think logically. It's, it's scary to, to lose yourself like that. No, I didn't, I didn't spend the night with him, Kristen. He wanted, when he called me, he wanted me to go over. And I, and I was sleeping, so I'm like, you know. I'm just saying if you don't, yeah, that's a good point too, Raquel. That's a good point. It's all good points. It's like Jessica said, it makes me feel like you kind of did it on purpose. You know what I mean? Because we didn't end our phone call on good terms, so it's like, oh, you know what? F it. Leave my phone here. I go out, have a good time. Come back. Find a girl fawning over you. It's like, ah, uh, you know. Hello, welcome back to Stories from the Internet. I'm Monty, and this is another foodie beauty video. A lot has transpired with FB within the last 48 hours, so let's just get into the video. This is Mrs. Lonely. Really hard. I know the logical thing to do, the best, probably the best thing to do for my life is to not be with anybody because, um, that's easier said than done. Like, it's just that I feel like I just should just focus on myself, but it's just like, for background with people, it seems her and Nadir got into a spat, or what FB perceives as a spat. And of course, in good old FB fashion, she blows it way, way out of proportion. Like just spending time with this person has made me so happy and caught feelings. And now I can't, can't imagine not being there. Like I miss being there. So... I hate love. Love bites, like I said. Love bites. Love bleeds. <laughs> Remember that song? By Def Leppard. He puts a lot of thought into her moron. singing. It's bad hair. Love stinks. Yeah, yeah. Love stinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Only she put the same into cleaning. Hi, oh, yes. Room. The Sam. toilet, for a living Hi, room, you. I see you. exercising. Just gotta get through it. I didn't order a Misty Twisty. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm overreacting. But at the same time, I feel like I deserve more. Like I deserve, I deserve respect, you know? That's how I see it, plain and simple. And I'm pissed, so. <sighs> She's doing too much, cause what has happened is that Nadir is not answering his phone. It could be a, a multitude of legitimate reasons why he's just not answering his phone, yet she is thinking, one or two reasons why he's not answering her mindset is he's not answering his phone because he's with another woman or he's doing something where he just doesn't want to see me it's never his phone could be dead it's never he could be in an accident he could have you know lost his phone there's there's so much things where people don't answer their phone when they normally would but she's just blowing things way out of proportion as usual that's it why is it buffering it's annoying what the hell stupid internet <laughs> nothing wants to work today yeah i'm just gonna have to let tonight be i guess and just be miserable it's pretty much what she does then comes online. Anyways. <clears throat> I called on the other phone. No one answered, so I don't know what to say. I feel like just like driving by and being like, hey, can I have my f I need to smoke a joint. Like, I won't be able to relax. I won't be able to sleep. <sighs> okay. 
that's the other thing. Her weed is at Nadir's house. So she, if she had her weed at her house and she got into this situation, she would just self-medicate herself with weed, hop online and further medicate herself with her audience, as in talking back and forth, back and forth for hours with her audience or her favorites that she likes. But the issue is this. She just has an immature mindset. Her mentality is very immature. She is socially inexperienced. And this is why she does stuff like this. Like you're going to see for hours talking about something that should be extremely simple. It's either one or two things. Either Nadir is going to answer his phone or not answer his phone. You don't need to call him in over and over and over. And as she just said, she starts calling him from her second number that he doesn't know about. Is there real need for that? Is there a need to go over his place to spy on him while stating, oh, you're just going to go there to pick up your weed? Is there really a need for all of this? Because for me, this situation is rather simple. Wait it out. Talk to the person the next day and hopefully they give you a good explanation of what has happened. Yeah, Lynn. It's a bruise. I honestly don't know from where. I have one here too. I don't know. I bruise so easily. There's always boobs, bruises on my boobs because if a man just squeezes them, it bruises. So... Um... I can't think of when, the only thing I can think of is like positions cause bruises, like, you know, holding onto your arms while you're, hi Kels, Kels B, welcome to Very Important Beezers, Ready, Set, Bees. I know it's buffering, yes. what the hell? Guess FB's getting all those memberships all the time, good for her, she's got bills to pay, right? She's got two noses to feed so hey if she's gonna get memberships and people are so inclined to purchase those memberships so why not i know i would like an edible <sighs> you did it Cass. i'm full of bruises on my body so i am i don't know where they're from i have some here or here but the other ones healed nicely like they're not all remember how red and bruised they were they're not like that anymore but there's one small bruise um I bruise very easily, you know. <sighs> she just really. Sandra, welcome to the important beezers. Another membership. <laughs> she just really wants to medicate here. Really, really, really wants to medicate with weed. It seems she always medicates herself when something goes wrong in her life. When she's angry, upset. Things don't go her way. She medicates herself. Now it's weed, but at many times it's food and weed. And this is why she binges when things don't go her way or when she's extremely emotional. Okay, Joe, have a good night. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go. Who's coming? in between my legs from a knock house no from from a store there's a store open till midnight to buy weed I gotta go buy some more since I'm an asshole and I left my entire stash with the person not answering the phone right now They're too busy to pay attention to me don't you know that I'm the only person who deserves attention right now <laughs> that's what I sound like isn't it I love these sandals. Did you guys see them yet? Hold on. I'll show you in a second. Hold on a second. My floor is really dirty, but you like? <laughs> I know my foot's all. Anyways, my shoes are everywhere. My house, the landing is a disaster. I need a shoe organizer. It is a disaster clean. Very simple. She never wants to clean anything not her bedroom not her living room not her kitchen not her stairs 
not her front hallway. She never Thank wants you. to do anything. Thanks, not even her but car. She doesn't clean. Oh my god, I want to punch myself in the face. I said you too when he said enjoy. What kind of loser does that? Oh crap, what did I just drop now? Oh, I'm in such a bad mood right now. I need to relax so hard. Alright, okay guys, so here's what's gonna happen. <laughs> oh shit, on my shoe. Shit, my shoe! Shit, my shoelace! <laughs> Is there technical difficulties? My hair's fuzzy. Is there technical difficulties? What's going on? Okay, what I'm gonna do is end the stream, restart my phone, go by the thing, go home, and we're gonna blaze, okay? So, let's try this. She's restarting her stream because there's some sort of lag going on, and a lot of people are complaining about it, so that's why she's doing that. Not that great. Ooh, it's sour. All right, guys, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy a couple pre-rolls and go home. So, I have to use my GPS too, so I'm gonna go buy it. It's gonna take a while to get there, it's kind of far. So, I know, basic, basic. I'll be back, so keep an eye out for me, okay? You might not get the notification, so keep an eye. I'll be back. Bye. I'm done. Annie, I'm so stupid. I feel so dumb. I didn't get any weed. Hi, Bees and Ben. I went by his house. I wanted to see if he was home. If I could get my stuff. So I get there. No, like, I don't think anyone was home. I don't, I don't know. Like, he has his room, which was dark. But, I mean, if you're in the room with somebody, it's going to be dark. I didn't hear any noise. Um, his kitchen light was on. The door was locked. But his kitchen window, like, I could see inside. And I could see his kitchen table. There was, like, still everything on it from, like, the last time I was there. So... Um, I, I didn't really notice my edibles though. I couldn't really see that well, but there was like stuff all over the table and that's where my edibles were. He doesn't have a car. No, but he was being picked up. I don't know. But what bothers me about that is like, what situation could you be in where you're gone for like hours and hours and not think about me once? Like think, oh, maybe she tried call calling me. Maybe, you know, like maybe she texted me. I just feel like, I just feel stupid, like... <sighs> okay, here's the thing. Did she really go over his house for the edibles? Do you really think so? Are you thinking she really went over his house for the edibles? Or do you think she just went over there to try and catch him with a woman? What do you think? If you think he went over there to catch him with a woman... Leave a comment below because I really generally think that's what FB really wanted to do. Her going to get the weed is just a cover. This is what she does. This is how she tried catching BB when she was starting a relationship with him. She always tries to catch people cheating. But yet, she's the one who has cheated in the past before. Oh my god. Like, what is wrong with me? Anyway... I went over there, Jessica. Jessica. Thank you, Jessica. I went over there to see if he was home. He wasn't home, as far as I know. I knocked on the door, nothing. I don't know what's going on. I really don't. Like, I don't. That's, that's what's bugging me. I don't know what's going on. And, like, I just... Like, why can't you at least call me? Like, you know? I did. I texted him. I'm like, answer your phone. Like, if you don't call me, I'm never like... I didn't say this, but I'm going to text. Like, I'm just like, I'm never going to talk to you if you don't call me. Like, I'm worried. Like, how am I supposed to sleep? Like, what if something happened? Like, he was supposed to call me back, and he never did. Like, what am I supposed to think? You know? Now I'm just, like, left here all night worrying with, like, no like nothing to calm me down. Um, I'm like, I'm just losing my mind. 
Like, I don't feel like I deserve that after everything I've like been through with this person in the past three weeks. I don't feel like I deserve that, you know? Sometimes just listening to FB is so exhausting, so exhausting because the situation is simple. She sounds like a 12 year old girl texting, answer your phone. Where are you? Why aren't you answering my calls? Like this is a 37 year old grown woman. But clearly, as you can see, she doesn't have much social experience or more specifically in this instant relationship experience this is what you're seeing she is not relationship inclined she doesn't how she doesn't know how to navigate through a relationship properly and that will just cause her a whole a lot of problems with you know people her age because they are more or less more mature and relationship inclined while she isn't because she hasn't had all that experience like if you want a day away then f-ing hang out with your friends, but at least tell me what you're doing and call me. And when you say you're going to call me and let me know, you know, like I did go there. Yeah. I don't know how to feel like, I just feel like we just have such different lives and I just can't picture that mingling together. Like, I don't know. Yeah. He seems to have like so many like fun friends and stuff like that. And I, I mean, I have friends, but not like a lot and he I'm not very no social friends. like in a way. She only has BB and then she has Pete's. That's pretty much it. And those are her, her exes. And then her friends or the closest thing to her friends are people who are online. So that's Karate Joe, Cat Queen, Savage Keyboard, Sofa King, Canadian Timbit. The list goes on and on and on. Those are her real friends. And the internet is bringing the world together. I personally think there's nothing wrong with that have online friends if you want to have online friends go ahead do your thing but all her friends are online this is why she comes on for hours and hours and hours and goes back and forth with simple things such as he's not answering his phone let it be chill out do your thing go to bed address the issue the next morning why contemplate for about six hours about this one specific thing and it just makes her look crazy it really does it makes her look immature and it makes a grown woman who's 37 years old look like a 12 year old girl i feel like i'm boring maybe i'm boring you know maybe he doesn't want to just stay in with me all day maybe he just i just knocked and looked I tried the door. I'm like, please be open so I can break in and get my shit. I I know that's illegal, but... Hi, Marissa. I drove by there. He's not home. I wasn't able to get any weed because my GPS took me to the wrong place. No, sweetie. No, sweetie. Your GPS took you to the right place. You just input the wrong address. So she needs to be careful. That's what happened. Your GPS took you... To wherever you put in as the address for your GPS to take you to. Thanks, thanks, guys. I don't even know what I'm crying about. I didn't even want a relationship, and that's why I'm crying. And now I'm all hung up on somebody. Probably, I don't even know if we're even right for each other. Can you imagine talking and I'm acting so like this? Out over a guy you've met so stressed out for only three weeks imagine yeah i'm not far from home right now it's like 10 minutes (laughs) and stressed and crying about it like going right home i'm surprised she isn't binging right now i honestly do he's sleeping he's got to work days because she's pretty much triggered to start a binge right now i don't have anything nothing i love i'm stupid like i leave what who does that because I thought I was going back there. Plus, plus, can you imagine spending three weeks with a guy, like pretty much seeing a guy three weeks every single day of the three weeks? That doesn't sound healthy to me. In FB's mind, that's totally great. That's amazing. That's healthy. But 
you've seen a guy every single day for the past three weeks. Like, give the relationship some breather room. I could not be seeing somebody every single day for the last three weeks. Well, I can if I was married to that person. If I was in a relationship for that person for years, then yes, I can see myself with them every single day for three weeks. But if you've known a guy for only three weeks and you're seeing him every day for three weeks, that does not sound healthy to me. I don't think he hides a key. He was going to give me a key <laughs> so I could be there when he gets home from work. He likes that. But it just doesn't make any sense from like how we were for the past three weeks. Like just so lovey-dovey and like relationship pretty much like starting one and now it's just like what the hell's going on i hate this shit like this shit that just doesn't make sense it's like i'm in my mind i'm picturing like a, like a huge orgy like like at a huge orgy being all kinds of bad doing all kinds of things he shouldn't be <laughs> like why else wouldn't you answer your phone what are you doing dancing like a clown um for that many hours you don't check your phone once you don't check your phone once Okay, folks, keep that in mind. She thinks he's at an orangey because this is important. Why would you say that? I wouldn't say, hey, if I went over to my mom's house, where's my mom? I think she's skydiving or bungee jumping. I wouldn't say that unless my mom skydives and bungee jumps. So think about it. If she's saying that he could be at an orgy, then that must mean he does that kind of stuff. Hey, I said this weeks ago. I really did. That mattress on the ground is there for a reason. You don't have two mattresses in you don't have two mattresses in a room, one where you sleep on, and the other is for, you know, sexy time stuff, unless you're doing orgies, threesomes, foursomes. It's there for a reason, and she just confirmed it. But remember keep that in mind no 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 i'm actually like really disgusted i'm disgusted like i i'm just i'm so like annoyed i'm just so annoyed i'm so annoyed at myself for even getting in this situation i just need to i don't know i need to relax <laughs> i don't know what to do with myself he has seen my messages right so if he knows i'm hurting like that why would he do that to me if you you know what i mean <sighs> Oh, uh, Julie, honestly, I I know what I need to do is be done and just because I can't go through this all the time. I can't even if my mind is running away and it's my fault and I'm overreacting like this is just like a sign, a bad sign for me that this is toxic already. And I, uh, I can't do that. I can't. She's making it toxic. I can't do toxic right now. Oh my god. In my opinion, she's the one who makes her relationships toxic by doing this. Overreacting, being immature, thinking things that aren't happening, being lazy, which trickles into her relationship. So she's gonna do a lot of things that would be seen as lazy relationship wise as well. So stupid. Why did I get into that? Why? Like what <sighs> Do I have no self-respect? I don't have any self-respect. <sighs> well, then he's a liar, cheeseburger, because that's not what he told me. <sighs> but I get crazy like this bean burrito with anybody I fall in love with. I look for little things to like sabotage it or... <sighs> he's telling the truth. She will try and self-sabotage her relationship before it gets serious. So right there, there you go. She's being truthful. Did you, Sophie? Tell us about it. I need to feel like somebody. <laughs> I can't go through this anymore. I can't bug BB right now. I don't want to go over there. I can't drive all the way back there. Uh -uh. 
He doesn't deserve me. I don't feel that way. Now I feel like I don't deserve him or something. Like, I, you know when you don't know what's going on, so you just picture the worst, like, just him, like, having sex with, like, 20 people right now in a room? There you go again, the whole orgy thing. I feel like, really, Joe, two years? Wow. I feel like it would be, like, If he's doing what I think he's doing, I'm going to be... Oh. Huh. Why would you I think he's doing orgies? Okay. The only reason she would think he's over there having sex with multiple people is if he actually does that. Why would she think he's doing orgies unless he actually does do orgies? You know what I think? I think he's talked to her about his past what he likes to do and what he has been doing and it's it's coming out she won't be straight up and tell her audience her fans or stands that what this guy is about sexually but it's coming through and we're picking up on it because why would you say that why would you talk like that why would you say it more than once there has to be a reason <laughs> i look ugly when i cry I don't think I ever ugly cried. Uh, there you go. <laughs> I won't sleep until I know you're home safe. Oh. Wow, man. Right. One thing I gotta say, she's got fans. I'm gonna get off soon anyway. Should I drive home now? It'll be dark. Any time of the day? My car light is super flattering. Oh, thank you. I'm hiding my chin, too. <laughs> Any time of the day, she gets thousands of views, no matter when. I can't. I, can't, I feel like I can't let the. I, I almost. I, I'm my. I, you know, I want to cry so hard. I just can't. Oh. She's got quite the fan base that follows her around, watches her, no matter when. It could be two a.m., three, four a.m., seven p.m., one p.m., eight a.m. There's going to be thousands of people that watch her. Of all things to do with my time that I, I need to focus on things, I fall in love with something. I fall in love with somebody and, and get into something that's problematic and toxic. What does that sound like? Well, people cautioned her. People cautioned her about what she said about him, that the relationship would be problematic and toxic, but yet she still went into it. Head first, basically. Head first, no hesitation into a relationship a lot of people cautioned about. So at the end of the day, if anything happens, whose fault is it? It's FB's fault. I'm sure he'll call me tomorrow. Oh, blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm going to hear. He thinks I'm probably thinks I'm stupid. You know that? I'm not stupid. <laughs> I just want my stuff. I just want to. I mean, I feel I know I should just cut it right now when it's like only three weeks. But like, I just melt. She's never going to cut it. The only person that's going to cut this relationship so, is Nadia. I don't know what to do. I'm in my bed. <sighs> Hold on. Wait a second. You heard that breathing, right? Cause I heard it and I know you heard it. She does know that is not how you're supposed to sound, right? She does know that if you sound like that after just going up the stairs, then you should go to the hospital, right? Like there's a problem. There is literally a problem with you if you sound like that after just going up the stairs. And that in itself is the problem because 
she's sounding like that, but yet she's not going to the hospital. She's not taking her meds. She is not taking care of herself. And this is why a lot of people are saying she probably won't last until the end of 2022, if not 2021. And that's scary. That's scary that FB is constantly not taking care of herself, breathing hard like that because there there's problems with their lungs. There's been problems with their lungs for a long time with the clots. Now there's additional elements happening with her body and she is just fully ignoring them and concentrating on a guy not calling her. Incredible. All right. <sighs> I just went up all the stairs. I'm like, super. Oh. All right. <sighs> yes, Annie. Does it feel good to be home? I guess so. <laughs> Make up before bedtime? <sighs> oh. I I'm going to remember this feeling. I don't like it. I don't like that. I feel disrespected. I feel unimportant. I feel um, like nothing that we did together for the past three weeks matters. Um, I don't know. That's how I feel. Man, this is incredible. This whole thing with hours of speculation. Hours of speculation. The bottom line is... He didn't answer her calls. What is up with nearly four hours of talking about it and going back and forth, back and forth? At some point, I think this has to be content and she's just trying to get paid. She's asking and saying certain things, getting a rise and reaction out of her audience. She's letting her audience engage with her in a way like giving her advice, blah, blah, blah. I can understand that. Yes, she's at the end of the day, she's a creator. She needs to get paid. I can understand that. But if this is just straight obsession, wow, Nadir is going to be in for a very hard and long ride. My crazy text, like just, you know, telling him off like, um, can't believe you you would do this to me after everything um excuse me you want me to talk about you what what yes you want me to talk about you no i want to talk about you <laughs> get her i want to talk about you no i didn't text i all i said was like answer your phone you're supposed to call me why didn't you call me um and the text i said i'm done I'm going to let me know when you're free. I'll come get my stuff and I'm done because I feel disrespected. See, usually saying that makes people not want to text or call you even more because all in all, at the end of the day, this is all just a relationship mismatch. He seems to be a very outgoing, adventurous, extroverted guy, while FB is very, very introverted and not socially calibrated. She doesn't know a lot of, she doesn't know a lot of things. She is not relationship experienced and it shows. Anybody who has any sort of relationship experience, as soon as they start talking to FB, you can tell. You can tell she hasn't been in much relationships and the relationships that she has been in, she hasn't matured and grown up with them or from them. Like her experience is clearly lacking small new fans content for free so that's what it, yeah that's what i said and that's all pretty much but woo woo candles hey baldy baldy one baldy two overall i hope that nadir knows what he's getting himself into because this is what he's getting himself into all of this all of the overreacting, all of this speculation over nothing. Ugh. I gotta go to bed.
I wonder no, who he watches have voicemail, her. But I called like 30 times. <laughs> I called like 25 times. Because 25 times instead of 30 makes it a whole lot better, right? Makes it a whole lot better. Who watches FB and thinks this is nothing? All I see here is a very immature woman that is extremely socially uncalibrated. The crazy thing is, the crazy thing that gets me is when I see people ask her for dating advice. You're asking foodie beauty for dating advice. What? Her? Dating advice? Really? Come on. Come on. I'm going to call again, too. I'm just joking. Time for a blanket. She's not joking. She's no. going to call him over and over and over again. She's going to keep calling him Time off for camera. Bed. She's going to keep texting him off camera. I, I feel he's probably not doing anything. I, he's probably doing something I won't like. I bet you any money. Just have a feeling. You know, I have nothing against Foodie Beauty, but she's the last person I would ever expect to dole out proper dating advice, especially when she does this, when she does such immature things, when she does things that are so inappropriate, but yet people ask her for dating advice. <laughs> He's annoying you. Yeah. <clears throat> all right what do you want to talk about <laughs> kick him in the nuts here we go she's getting into her comfort zone yes where she's upset angry. no i didn't amanda she talks i think to he's her friends. having orgies right now <laughs> that's what i'm thinking like an orgy party I there you go again talking about the orgies again this is the third instance that i've caught making these clips together talking about orgies you don't talk about this stuff not only once not only twice three times i've caught unless the guy actually does this sort of stuff the reason she's talking about it is because he does it once again i wouldn't go over to my mom's house and say hey where's my mom she's not at home she must be bungee jumping she must be skydiving the only reason i would have that train of thought is because if she actually does that sort of stuff if she doesn't do that sort of stuff i wouldn't be thinking she might be doing it so with that frame of mind fb keeps bringing up orgies she's bringing them up because nadir does this sort of stuff i said it weeks ago the mattress the king size mattress on the ground in his room is there for a reason escorts come over for a reason any woman that comes over to his place is there for a reason it's because he's already had sex with them he's going to have sex with them or he's continuing to have sex with them see it's it's all coming together i don't know i don't know that's what that's what my mind is thinking some kind of like orgy or something like where could he be where his he doesn't hear his phone you know, like what, what, where could he be during COVID? He's at like a house party. I don't know. That's times number I'm four. Talking shit about for that too. No, I have seen him. Yeah, yeah. No, I've been seeing him every day. That's, That's unhealthy. Sad. I know. I was. I felt Especially like you didn't want to see me. I felt like it was an excuse. The way he said. If you think it's unhealthy to see somebody for three weeks straight when you've only known them for three weeks, leave a comment below because I want to hear what you people have to say. I it too. I felt like it was an excuse. And then I said to him, I texted him and I said, it sounds like a weird excuse. Are you sure you're not seeing a woman? And he's like, come on, stop that. But there you go again. Talking about other women, orgies, blah, blah, blah. She keeps saying it. She keeps doing it. I shaved my chin. Oh my god, I went over there. And like, we're always close like this, right? 
And I had chin hair all here, all chin hair and a mustache. I forgot to shave my chin hair. Long chin hairs. And we're just cuddling. And he's like, oh, did you shave your face today, baby? <laughs> I was so, like, you don't miss anything. I was so embarrassed because I do, did have a lot of chin hair. When I got home, I have a thing on. I don't know. When I got home, I used my thing. It's so embarrassing. Wait. He's tolerant. It's so funny. I guess he has to be if somebody's paying for his stuff. Bye, Felicia. Man, that Nadir is so tolerant. The types of stuff that he's been through with FB. And I'm thinking, yeah, this man has to be tolerant. If he wants FB to pay for his stuff, he has to be, right? He's going to be tolerant until the money runs out, right? Of course. <laughs> I have to be careful. Like I have to. I always think about stuff like now that I didn't before, like washing my ass every time I go to the bathroom or shaving my chin hair, armpits. I never used to shave my armpits at all. <laughs> now I have to be careful of stuff, not to be gross. Okay, I'm not even gonna go over the whole armpit and chin hair thing. I think if you're gonna go see a guy. You should always wash your ass, especially if you go to the washroom and you have intestinal tract problems. You got an irritable bowel. You should wash your ass. I'm just saying, I think it's common courtesy. If your booty hole is going to speak to a guy during doggy style, as she said, it's done that she should properly clean that area of herself i'm just saying i would think she would do it but oh boy oh boy it's foodie beauty after all right <laughs> it's like i want you to be natural i don't think you do i really don't because i can start farting and it won't stop you know what? at least she's being honest right now yep she'll she'll be floating all night and he could still be tolerant this guy's a pretty tolerant guy from all this stuff i have heard you know i don't know what i'm gonna do tomorrow i don't know if he works tomorrow actually i think he's supposed to oh let's not pick on joe but he's been able he's gone like I've stayed over, and he would just, like, st he can stay awake for, like, a two days in a row. <laughs> like, for who stay, who, who stays two days up in a row? Who does that? Coca-Cola heads, right? Because she keeps saying he's not a Coca-Cola head, and if somebody stays up two days in a row, that means they're on something. It's usually the powder, and that will make them a coca-cola head just saying fb for real and even when he does sleep he sleeps for like three hours four hours and then bugs me when i'm trying to sleep what does that sound like to you and i'm just like stop i'm going only sleeps for <laughs> three hours Hi, you want to bed pete's you got the plunger oh i i picked up my own phone by the way I gotta plunge my toilet. Yay! Yep, that toilet's been clogged for weeks. We need to start making some bets here. We need to start betting. Is this toilet gonna stay clogged for now a month, two months, three months, four months, or six months? This is gonna be a world record for clogged toilets where somebody's actively living in the house. Like, really? She still hasn't gotten that done yet. She's still hasn't gotten that toilet unclogged when it's been weeks it's not dead yeah you think he's trying to upset me that's not cool what kind of person does that if that's the case what kind of person obsesses over something so simple if that's the case I don't know, Val.
Yeah, I'll just leave it be, I guess. No calling. My toilet's clogged downstairs. There's too much poo-poo's in the kitchen. Too much poo-poo's in the kitchen. She should say my toilet's been clogged downstairs for weeks, weeks now. And if you think someone who can't even take the time to unclog their toilet but yet is going to plan a massive European trip, then I still have that bridge for sale in Brooklyn. It was $5 million, now it's 3 It's a deal. I'll send me the money by Monday and it's yours. Only $3 million. It was 5 and before that it was 10 So now it's, it's 70% off. Still in Brooklyn, if you really believe FB is going to plan a month-long Eurobeezin European trip. I don't even know who clogged it. Was it me? Uh, might have been the cat turds I flushed. <laughs> I don't know. Who Probably flushes me. cat turds? <laughs> <laughs> who flushes cat turds? Because I don't. I put them in the garbage. Why does she feel she needs to flush cat turds? At? Do you do that? Leave a comment if you flush cat turds. Please tell me. Because I, I think usually they should go in the garbage. Oh, Joanna, no. That's not going to happen. Oh, paper towel. Maybe that's why. You think so, Liliana? Why are you saying you're done? Have you not heard from him? No, hello, fresh. <laughs> the paper towel? <laughs> yeah! Shit. No, it's not the same litter. It's the pretty litter. So it doesn't stick to the turds. That's why I flushed them. Is that a reasonable explanation? <laughs> I can't believe this. So, she flushed cat turds down the toilet and this is supposed to be your queen? FB, right? This your queen, right? Queen FB flushing cat turds down the toilet. It's okay, Jessica. It really helps with the smell. Joe, are you ignoring all this time? I wonder if those garbage bags are still in her room. I think so. The only thing I don't like is because you don't have to scoop the pee, but all the pee goes to the bottom of the pan and then you, like it's really strong when you clean it out every month. I know. Oh my god, okay. She said this multiple times. She says she cleans out her cat litter boxes, or maybe it's just one box, every month. And in good FB fashion, every month really means maybe every month and a half, every two months. Can you imagine? The smell. Can you imagine all this sort of stuff that's in there? Me? I clear the turds out of my cat litter boxes because I got two cats, two litter boxes every day. Then I clean the litter box thoroughly at least once a week. I might do it every few days, but if I'm too busy, it's at least once a week. Why are you doing it once a month? I don't get it. You know what I think? I think her cat litter box or litter boxes is just full of turds constantly and she does not want to do anything. This is the epitome of laziness. Well, there's no dust with this one, but it's got pros and cons, I guess. It's not really affordable. Well, for three cats, I paid $90, $90 a month. <laughs> Escorts are expensive. I don't know. <laughs> I was thinking like orgies. It's having like a whole bunch of orgies. He's probably just laughing with his friends. <laughs> there we go. She's talking about it again. Having the orgies. What? How many times? This is now the fifth time because you could maybe say the fourth, but the third and the fourth time was in the same, you know, few minutes of her talking to her stands so this is the fifth time she's talking about it 
This is what this guy does. He does the orgies. <laughs> I better get off here. Snake Charmer. I don't know if anyone will believe this. I sort of believe him just because of how things went down with his phone. Like, he said he left his phone at home. He forgot he left his phone at home. I don't know if he... I don't remember if he said he forgot his phone or he left his phone at home. But <clears throat> it makes sense because when I tried him from the different number, the unknown number, he didn't answer. It was the same thing. I called him so many times like a crazy woman that I actually killed his phone. Like, at one point before I fell asleep, before I fell asleep, his phone started going straight to voicemail. And which means, like, it sounded to me like it died. And then it makes sense to me because when he called me, he said, I come home, my phone is, like, dead. <laughs> but that sounds like such a bad excuse, right? I'm like, he's like, I come home, my phone is dead, which makes sense with the why it all of a sudden went right to voicemail near the end of the night. Uh that sounds like a legitimate excuse to me because I've left my phone at home and people call it and I can't answer because it's at home. See, this is why you don't do certain things like she did. She probably called that guy at least 50 times. I could even say up to 100 times constantly texting him like answer your phone weren't your answer and we're done we're through like a 12 year old and then at the end of the day or should i say the next day she gets a reasonable explanation as to what has transpired this is why fb shouldn't be doing what she did it's immature and it's unreasonable um, all night it was ringing 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 non-stop like if he was really annoyed he probably would have just like you know <clears throat> I don't know. I sort of believe it. Like, I sort of believe that he forgot it because he's not fixated. He's not good with technology. He barely ever goes on his phone when I'm there. Like, he'll he'll leave his phone for, like, it usually ends up dying. That's how long he forgets about it. Um, he said he was, like, with his, his guy friends, like, his friends from, like, Egypt or whatever that came to see him. He was there. They were playing cards and stuff. And he loves playing cards. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'll never know if it's really true or not. Right? So I have to make a decision what to believe hi marissa blown well out of proportion this is what she yeah does. he's like i told you i was with my friend this is um, what she always does i Incredible. went over there and he wasn't there so that's another thing yeah <sighs> and i also find it unreasonable to be going over to the guy's house what do you think do you think that's reasonable or unreasonable Leave me a comment. No, he's not good at responding. He, if he has his phone on him, like if we're talking, he'll respond to like text, but it takes him a while to respond to texts. Um, he's a call person. He's not really a text person. Um, you know what I mean? He doesn't have a history of being involved in group sex. I think he like tried it once or something like that. And so did I. So I can't really judge him for that. So anyway whoa it finally comes out he he doesn't have a history no no sweetie he has a history that's why you keep bringing it up because he's told you that's what he likes to do that's what he does that's why the mattress is there and it's a king sized come on now come on now whenever he talked to me he's like what's all these messages you really feel that way um and they started talking to me, like, this is the snake charmer part. He started talking to me, like, like he does. And then I was just like, oh, like, get, you need to come here right now. Like, come over. Come over. I miss you so much. Like, just like, not like Ooh. mushy. Like, what is, how does he talk? He's smooth. It's like, like pillow talk and like, like sex talk. Like, it's he's like a Rico Suave, like that song. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. Rico, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh. suave. Drives me crazy. <laughs> like, it just drives me crazy. I didn't go over there, obviously. I was like, sorry, I gotta sleep. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, I was up all night worried. But I completely, 100%, a million percent, um, yeah, I overreacted. Like, I acted like a complete insane person, like a child, like a 12 year old. I'm embarrassed. I am so like a 12 year old. <clears throat> I really am, because that's just <laughs> a lot. 
I was so mad and so upset. Like, really? Over what? Like, I don't think clearly. I don't think logically. It's, it's scary to, to lose yourself like that. No, I didn't, I didn't spend the night with him, Kristen. He wanted, when he called me, he wanted me to go over. And I, and I was sleeping, so I'm like, you know. I'm just saying if you don't. Yeah, that's a good point too, Raquel. That's a good point. It's all good points. It's like Jessica said, it makes me feel like he kind of did it on purpose. You know what I mean? Because we didn't end our phone call on good terms, so it's like, oh, you know what? F it. Leave my phone here. I go out, have a good time. Come back. Find a girl fawning over you. It's like, ah, uh, you know. That would be immature, and that's too much Am I going to fawn the toilet today? I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. So, the toilet... The toilet only needs a plunge, yet she doesn't do it. It's not like it needs a plumber to snake the toilet. It just needs a plunge. Maybe it needs a plumber to snake, but she hasn't even tried plunging yet. Can you imagine this? This is the filth that she's living in. This is disgusting. How can you do that? How can you live in a home that is dirty, filthy, sticky? That toilet probably stinks. It stinks in there after being weeks without being unclogged. Weeks. But yet she is so relaxed. She is so nonchalant about it. And she doesn't even have a job where she has to do a lot of work. She doesn't. All she does is go online and do her thing, talk to people on her cell phone and make money. Yet she's acting as if she doesn't have any time in the world to unclog that toilet. Can you believe this? This this is what these cats are living in. This is what Pete's is living in. At least Pete's has a regular job that he has to put in the hours. Her, With her, she can do so many things and still get paid for it. <laughs> I guess I can. I mean, it takes two seconds. And she hasn't done it. At least I'll play cheeseburger. Yeah, what's going on, Sophie King? Are you cheating on me? I'm just kidding. Yeah, Cat Queen, I know. I failed to mute myself the whole time, and they have heard what sounds like me passing gas several times. <laughs> oh my god. You're so funny. <laughs> Her stands. Oh, just sex partners. Her stands have an obsession with peeing and pooping and flatulence. I'm gonna keep saying it. They're obsessed. Especially since what makes the sex so good is that that, that it's emotional a lot of the time. You know, not all the time though. Sometimes it's like, but emotional sex is better. You know, like we have like. Not crying emotion, but like other emotions, like, you know. No, I don't feel that way, Cat Queen. I feel like he does li like like me. Uh, so I'm a psych student and have BPD myself. I know things are okay with the guy now, but please get tested. So next time you don't feel crazy, you have so much pain. It's treatable. <laughs> Thank you, LS. <laughs> yep, that's right. She could have BPD. I was thinking along the same lines, like she's undiagnosed with something. Now, I'm not hating on people with BPD. I'm not saying anything negative about BPD. I'm just saying that FB might have BPD. That's it. Yeah, I probably should see somebody again. Oh, I'm so sick of it. Oh, sorry, Fardas. Fardaz, welcome to Very Important Bees. There's ready, set, bees! <laughs> There's your bees. You guys like the ready, set, bees? It's cringe. Which is appropriate for my channel. Isn't it? Have you thought about moving back to Egypt? Um, no. <laughs> no. Although, you know what? I, Yeah, kind of, actually. Not really, like, serious, but... Like, I want to, like, I kind of want to move to, an, not move to another country, but, like, get out of here for a while. Hi, Dana. Well. Sorry. 
sorry guys, I know I'm gross. I'll be going to the bathroom. I I'm gonna go unclog my toilet. <laughs> Alright, Susie She's Lynn! Not. She's not. It's Boycott McDonald's Day? Is it? No, really? I don't wanna get McDonald's then. I want to give him some benefit of the doubt. Me too, because it's been nothing but wonderful. Well, seriously, for the past three weeks or whatever, like, there was like a rough patch at the beginning where I was like, okay, you know. But things are so different now. Like, it's so different. I can't take anybody seriously that talks like this over a three-week relationship. It's a three-week relationship. You shouldn't be talking like this. The conversation has been hours over a three-week relationship. How can you be this way yet be mature enough to go out in the world and have normal interactions with people? You can't because she is not functioning like a mature adult human being. Crazy girls need love. <laughs> Thanks, Annie. That's what I mean, like, because of what I said, you know? <sighs> Maybe I'm over, you know? He seems fully, to like Psycho. Like, he seems to like it when I obsess over him, like. Fully overreacting, and Nadir has been taking it well. Maybe for good reasons, maybe for bad reasons, I don't really know. But yep, she's been obsessing. She is blowing this way out of proportion. And I personally think this is just a toxic relationship that's going to end poorly. I think men like that. Some men, you know. <clears throat> but that's not good because then they can make you, they can manipulate you. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm aware of this. I'm aware. Uh, I feel like a passive viewer though because I know what I'm thinking logically and what I want to do are very different things you know <sighs> narcissist really mm. psychos are the best lovers <laughs> I'm not gonna lie they keep you trapped with that good loving what is Lewis drunk what's going on it's Tuesday it's Wednesday it's hump day Lewis are you having a pint? I need to check the uh, group chat. I haven't been there in a while. <sighs> he has control over you? He does right now. In a way. I hate to admit it, but... I'm helpless. No, I'm not. I'm not. She is. She is. Yeah, Pashi. I'll be careful, guys. I will. I will. They can make great lovers, but not partners. That's true. That's very true. It's a lot to think about. No, I'm fully aware, Cat Queen. I'm aware that I'm in, tr I'm, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm aware. That's why I was I love, really mad at myself yesterday. I felt like I had no control over my own feelings, you know? Or my own emotions. Like, they were controlling me big time yesterday, and it was... I, I couldn't sit still like I was like I didn't know what was wrong you know of course he invited me over I don't know cat queen what's wrong is her maturity level what's wrong is her ability to navigate relationships that's what's wrong maybe <laughs> my snake charmer Wrestling in the sheets. <laughs> Do a makeup get ready with me. Bees. All right. I'm going to go for now. I might come back. Thank you guys for hanging out. I love this members chat. It's so awesome. <sighs> Just for suspense, Susie Lynn. Just for suspense. I'm actually really lazy. Like, I don't feel like getting ready. I don't feel like washing anything. I just feel like laying in bed. Because I'm still kind of depressed. I'm embarrassed of how, how I acted yesterday really, really bothers me. I have some self-reflection to do. And I, I need to apologize to him for that because I was just wrong. You know, no matter what. Immature. Anyway. 
Oh, all right, guys. I might do a get ready with me, so if I do, I'll be back soon. Right now, I have to uh, go to the bathroom <laughs> upstairs. Bye, guys. Love you. All right, that's it for Foodie Beauty. That has shown in the last 48 hours how immature she truly is. And Nadir really took it well for whatever reasons he has to be super cool about her immaturity and her inexperience with relationships. I don't know what's going to happen. I'll keep you updated as the foodie beauty and Nadir situation keeps unfolding. So that's it for me. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I will see you later.